Time now for today's Focus. And it takes us to meet some of the working homeless in the United States. People who work many times in a full-time job, uh, but who cannot afford to live in the area where they're employed. These are cities that on paper might look prosperous, where the economy is doing well and unemployment rates are very low. But behind the statistics, a growing number of people have no choice but to sleep in their cars. As night falls, hatchbacks and camper vans arrive at this car park. Their drivers have no fixed address. Their car has become their home. 40% of them have a job, a figure that is rising every year. Danielle is 46. She lives in her car with her daughter, who is too embarrassed by her situation to speak to us. Isn't it too hard to live like this? Yeah, it is, especially someone my age. How much I make monthly? About 2000 It's not enough. Not enough for even to rent a room. Danielle has turned the back of her car into a small living area, making room for their clothes and a table. As a part-time office worker, her salary isn't low enough to receive welfare benefits. Hoping that one day she'll find a full-time job, she's returned to university. The choice was is to keep living on the cliff, keep living on the edge, or go back to school get a degree and, and better my opportunities. You know, get a better job, a better paying job, more stable job. Before losing her job in 2012, Danielle worked as an accountant. She's been living on the road now for five years. She's part of a new subgroup in the US population that lives on the edge of society but manages to maintain a regular lifestyle. If you saw me on the street, would you think that I was homeless? No. I'm clean, I shower, you know. I work, I go to school, I take care of, you know, my life the best I can. I just live in a car. Without a fridge or any storage space, fast food restaurants are her only option. This is your routine breakfast? Yeah, I hate it. Really? Oh yeah, I totally hate it. My daughter, she'll tell you, I'm a pretty good cook. My grandfather taught me how to cook when I was very young. Her day is divided between her workplace and the university, and neither her professors nor her boss are aware of her situation. California's housing crisis has led to an average waiting time of seven years for social housing. Rent prices have soared and wages aren't keeping up. In Santa Barbara, the local council provides free overnight parking spaces to tackle the problem. Santa Barbara has many programs to house people. The population and the need for such programs outweighs the, the, the supply. A dreamy landscape of the West Coast that brings hope for a brighter future. When one of the country's deadliest landslides destroyed her home six months ago, 64-year-old Dale Murnane was left to care for herself. It's despicable. I've been a professional my whole life. I've had a bank account. I still do. It's shocking how, how alone we all are in this. Dale is a former dental assistant and had opened a consulting room at her home. I feel catapulted out of the world that I lived in and surviving well with a lot of peace in my heart but with no direction. She used to rely on her insurance and help from welfare organizations but now she spends her days driving between car parks and the storage unit where she keeps her belongings. That's my whole life. Really? Yeah. Discretion is the golden rule here. Dale has to wait until the end of the day to find out where she'll be allowed to park her car. Twice divorced and with no children to care for, Dale has difficulty making plans for the future. This is a super comfy bed, no complaints. I'm at home here. I don't know what my future is. When I think about getting my business going again, I get very excited. When I think about having a small home again, I get very peaceful and happy, but I don't see it yet. 30% of these rough sleepers are over 50 years old. By law, sleeping inside a car is illegal. But the sad success of this program helping those who can no longer afford to rent is now being extended to other towns.